What's up, Zox fam? Now, we got to shout out the homie Godlike Kun for allowing me to utilize his account for this. Now, we're going to jump straight into it, what Jiang Zhuo Li uh, and what this unit has to offer. Now, when we're looking at the S1 Sky Smash, this consumes 20% of max HP to attack one enemy and deals 105% attack damage. Each 2% of max HP loss increases damage by 1%, and this can go all the way up to 120%. This is an extremely powerful full s1 on this character uh which will you know display and showcase you know in a moment okay now when we're looking at his passive which is the demon reborn passive uh not in demon mode when an ally takes a single target damage shares 15 percent of the damage with them each five percent of own max hp loss increases base speed by 2.5 percent base attack by five percent and base defense by five percent now i think um that i that was actually adjusted because i think beforehand it was all five percent so it looks like they did adjust that it was all five percent though at one point so i guess they kind of sort of nerfed him if that's fair to say right but then when you go into the demon mode it increases base speed by 50 percent Again, another thing that they <laughs> that they change, but base attack by 100% and base defense by 100%. After receiving speed boost, the speed of Chiyo won't exceed that of the unit with the highest speed on the battlefield. So these were things that were written in for sure because um, when we were reading it in the patch notes, he definitely was just it was just 100% scaling. But either way, um, upon taking lethal damage, does not die and enters demon mode for two turns, removes all buffs and debuffs from himself, restores HP by 20% of max HP gains, uh, gains standoff for one turn when in demon mode and attacks restore Chiyo's HP equal to 30% of the damage dealt and this is a automatic four turn cooldown right uh, so for the demon mode effect can't be debuff cast abilities or counter attack randomly attacks one enemy every turn deals 70% attack damage that ignores defense dealing damage restores HP by 30% of the damage and before attacking dispels all buffs from the target and when the when this mode expires transforms back to the original form so he doesn't keep that stat scaling right now for the last ability which is the s3 earth shatter uh this consumes 30 percent of max hp to attack all enemies deals 100 and really up to 120 percent attack damage and each two percent of the max hp loss increases damage by one percent and taunts all enemies for one turn now for the build of jiang Zhuli, uh i would say this is definitely the right set that you ultimately want to end up building now like i usually mention in every video and i do feel like this is kind of a good example um when you don't have the full build that you want sometimes it is better to use an alternative build until you're able to get the full extent of that build that's best in slot for a unit now for this one we're going to actually be utilizing the war machine let's see if he has any crit damage percent pieces so we're going to take this off of uh Xiao really quickly right uh, we're going to try to get a war machine built up real quick. Now, the actual stats you want are the crit, uh, crit damage, you want uh, attack percent, and then on that very last piece here, you want attack percent as well, right? Uh, because keep in mind, all the other stats that you're going to need are going to get increased, so you don't got to go too crazy. Um, now, let's go ahead and do this. And let's go, let's see if we can find another one. This one, uh, let's see, we'll just take, we'll just take Shao's stuff for now so we can just showcase him with the war machine but ultimately you do want the crit damage right um the counter attack on him is really really good but again it's one of those things like if you don't have the proper build for it i would definitely say hold off and focus something else um, until you are able to get that proper build so let's go with the crit rate so we're going to change this let's see if we have one more piece and looks like we do try to see if there's any other piece with some crit rate that's defense bonus okay so we're going to utilize this one all right so sweet we got 45 percent. that's still not terrible still about 3.7k uh attack so that's still pretty solid there um and i would say this is something that you would roughly want to do until you're able to get more crit rate uh, coming out of that war or out of that hammer of thor set um again this is still something that could work for the time being and i would say for most people that'll probably get him if you get lucky earlier on you're going to want to utilize a build like this 
Now, um, again, I would say if you are looking for best in slot, Hammer of Thor, Counter Attack, Sword of Avatar, uh, I would definitely say Runner Up is going to be War Machine with the crit rate. And then, of course, if you don't have uh, Sword of Avatar or the proper crit rate, then you can always do Hammer of Thor with the crit rate if you want, right? Now, um, if you're looking for substats to focus, always you know my favorite go-to uh at phase four we got speed we got attack and we have crit damage innate um and it's kind of interesting because the last two units these two five stars we've gotten have both had on phase six crit damage innate on phase six which is kind of interesting right now with that uh you'll also be focusing again when you look at his abilities he doesn't do anything except for the taunt so you are going to need a little bit of accuracy for that right um that's like one of those things that you fine tune as you kind of you know go through your process but that's pretty much going to be that now let's go ahead and get into the showcase here and we're going to be using the war room as usual the vr battlegrounds and let's go ahead and get into it all right now what we're going to do because his attack ability uh, or captain lead doesn't work here we're going to actually bring because you loki got to bring a team here look, just because of how they work all right, so let's bring Yesi Hua for that lead. And we don't want to heal. We don't, we don't want to be healing too, too much just because of the fact that we want him to be able to do what he needs to do. But we want to have that just in case. All right, so let's go ahead and run this with these three so we can get into the showcase. All right, so let's see. All right, so we're going to start with this. Just got to get that immunity defense up. Yeah, so we're going to get debuffed because, yeah, these are these level 60 annoying ads. All right, there you go. All right, so sweet. Now, of course, I think this is always nice, too, because you get that uh, extra attack up buff since we're missing that captain lead. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we're going to go with the S1. He does, and he is going to lose some HP here. So that's kind of what he does. So 5K without a crit's not terrible. That's actually not that bad. Let's go ahead and open up some defense breaks if we can. All right. And then we'll just we'll just hit somebody random with Gabby. You see Hua, same thing. We're not going to heal him. So let's go ahead and do this again. Woo! 30k on the S1. <laughs> All right. That was actually pretty nice with the That was nice. That was actually pretty nice. Holy crap. All right. So we're going to just keep on, keep on, keeping on. All right. So now we have our S3. So this consumes 30% more of the max HP to attack all enemies. Uh, and then it's going to be dealing the 105. So for each 2% of max HP loss, it increases damage by 1%. So I'd say, well, uh, I think we can wait a little longer. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's wait a little longer. We'll let them hit us some more. Open up another defense break avenue. All right, so let's see. I'm kind of intrigued. We got three defense breaks. Uh, we have no attack up buff, though. We could technically... Yeah, let's go for one more. Yeah, let's go for one more rotation. Oh, my God. That freaking... Uh... <laughs> that one is hitting like a truck. Yeah, let's get that attack up. I'm being a little greedy here. All right, here we go. His HP is super low now. Uh, let's do this. Now, let's see. We're going to go for this one. Let's see what we can do. Woo! This animation is clean. Wow. Okay. So, 41K there. on. That's kind of... I'm not going to lie. That's... Like, on an AoE, if this is a full squad, he's hitting like a truck, bro. That's, that's kind of OD. That's... Jesus Christ. That's kind of OD. So... I, man, that's kind of OD. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's so OD. Like, all right, let's see. And then his base attack goes up by so much. So let's actually, um, let's try running him by himself. So we're going to just run him with just Yusi Hua. I think that that's solid. I, I don't think we need the Gabby. I want to see, I want to see the full picture here. Let them kind of hit on me a little bit all right so let's go yeah we can just use s1 all right let's do it 
and that 20 percent is actually a pretty significant amount like you are losing hp all right so let's see um uh, we could do another one okay okay one more okay sweet uh i wish man i wish issue uh was a little faster but this is like really really low so i kind of want to see how hard he's gonna hit so let's go i should have uh used oh there it is the demon mode okay so now he's in the demon mode <laughs> oh my god he's about to go crazy now the demon mode um i think he's just stays in it for um a little bit so let's see we can heal him now you slap that on him and he still keeps that stat scaling like oh <laughs> i put this character so bad oh my god yeah the demon mode's kind of crazy that's kind of crazy all right so let's see that's crazy actually and then he does heal himself if i'm not mistaken so let's go oh he's taunted that sucks Yeah, and the crits are kind of like when the crits when the crits come in, they come in. All right, let's see. All right, so yeah, because I think on his passive, yeah, he restores twenty percent of his max HP. Yeah, so that's just like, <laughs> that's just so broken, bro. Like this guy, this guy is actually pretty good. I will say it's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be, but he's still gonna be disgusting. He's still gonna be disgusting. All right, so let's finish this up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for the biggie. And and that taunt when that lands, that's so perfect. All right, we got him at his lowest of the lows again. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, so he. Yeah, yeah. This dude. This dude is a as a one man train. So that's gonna be pretty much that. Once again, shout out the homie God like Kun for allowing me to utilize his account to show off Jian Zhu Li. Um, again, guys, like I said, uh, if I am able to get him in the future, I'll have like a super super end game video coming for his build or whatever. But I'll say with the I would say the fact that he's a five-star shimmer and I mean the chances of getting him is just kind of in the air uh, I do really appreciate this, but that's gonna be that and I'll catch you guys in the next one